Oh, this is a perfect day to go racing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's cleared up a little bit. Uh, the drive over here, I probably hit every rainstorm I could possibly hit. But, got here to track. It's cooled off a little bit, about 78 degrees. Uh, the DA is still a little bad, about 34, 3,500 feet. You know, obviously water's in the air because it just stormed and rained, so humidity's kind of high, the water grade's high, but we're finally gonna try to get a tune on this thing, guys. We went to that last race you saw. We got lucky. You know, we made it as far as we did with the tune we had in it because we didn't mess with it or try to change anything. Actually, I couldn't change anything because I didn't know what to do. So we got Josh out here today. He's over there tuning on Gaptizer right now, but we're gonna get him on the board tonight, punching in his numbers and getting this thing figured out for us. Hopefully, we can get the fuel situation figured out. We've rejetted the carburetor. We've, we've helped that out quite a bit. So we're just gonna try to get this thing dialed in, guys. Not gonna try to set any records today. Well, I mean, going down the track would be a record for this thing right now, but we're not trying to make, you know, we're not chasing a number or anything like that. At least I'm not. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it totally in his hands as far as the tune and where it goes and where it stays. Because that's the way I'm gonna race it here uh, next week when we go back to Wichita Falls and race again at the, uh, after the blast race. It's a big race every year. We won it the last two years in a row, and I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. So we're going to try to go for the three-peat, but there's a lot of fast cars. Uh, I'm sure some of the cars we've raced before will be up there wanting some revenge, want to take some of that money home. I know I want to again, but for, I mean, for what it's worth, guys, we're going to give it all we got today. I'm flying solo, so the filming may be a little different. Don't know how many shots we'll get of the actual car leaving. It'll probably all be in-car stuff. I don't know unless I can talk somebody into filming the outside for us. Maybe I can get Josh to do it. I don't know. Uh, but you know, Joey's working, so I'm flying solo, guys. It's it's going to be a rough one today. So we're just going to jump into it. Get after it, guys. All right, guys. Here we go. First pass. Just going with the same tune I had in Wichita. Just going to leave it there. Just kind of see what it does here. A little better track conditions. Um, haven't changed anything. RPM's the same. Launch is the same. So we're just going to get up here and see what it does. Use this as the base and start going from there. track was pretty bad that's where gap tizer went as you can see it actually pulled the rubber off of the track as we left so any rubber that's on the track when we leave we're not actually getting traction i'm pulling the tire up pulling rubber off of it so i said we weren't gonna make any record passes tonight we're probably gonna be lucky if we get to actually make it pass but the motor ran good the car ran good we're gonna turn the rpm down see if we can leave it i don't have an air tank to put any more air in the tires or anything like that so we're kind of kind of going with what we got right now guys but we're gonna give it one more shot, give it one more pass, and see if we can improve on it. The main thing we're worried about right now is just a tune, make sure spark doesn't blow out, all the crap that we've been dealing with for the past ever. So, that's what we're thinking right now, guys. All right, guys, about to go up here and make our second pass. Made a couple of changes, check the plug. Timing seems to be really safe. Fuel's a little fat, which is what we expected. We're gonna drop the RPM down just a little bit, 150 RPM, back it down to 3,700. I mean, we gotta get down the track. We need some data, even though if I can't get the computer right, here to read the log i need to have it when i get to the house i can actually plug it in and look at it so we're gonna turn the two step down a little bit I'm not gonna mess with the timer we're gonna leave it like it is leave everything alone just try to get a full pass down full throttle all the way down the track get us some good data i mean that's what this is all about we're just trying to get out here test a little bit like i said we got a big race coming up in a week and this is our last time we'll actually get the test for it so it's kind of hit or miss right now as long as we know the motor's running everything looks good he can send me a tune, we can put it in there, and just rock and roll from there.
right guys, back at the house. Let's go over the night. Uh, horrible weather, horrible DA, no computer that worked, humidity was high, water was in the air, couldn't change the tune, uh, fuel was too high, what else? Track sucked. I mean, everything we had going against us that night, but, but for all intents and purposes, it was a great night. Made two solid passes, everything seemed to work fine, all the spit pops and bangs and all the crap that we've been dealing with for so long is, is eliminated. The ignition has solved that. Right now, so far, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with that. That first pass, it boost bike to 25 pounds. Don't know why it did that. Um, could just be the bigger turbos and they were, you know, in that pissed off state and they made the boost, which I'm fine with that. I'm gonna be running that eventually anyway. The second pass, I don't know what that noise was where if, if you listen about midway in the run, when I get in the second gear, you hear it. It's almost like a wastegate slams open or it's pushing a blow-off valve open. It's just a big loud burst of air, but I hear the blow-off valves cut it off at the end, so I don't know what that was. So I kind of need to investigate that to, to see what we're dealing with. But overall, it was a good night. It, we accomplished everything we wanted to accomplish. Uh, the timing was conservative, so we got the race coming from Wichita this next weekend, so we're going there with this tune in it. Um, I'm probably just going to jet the carburetor up a little bit in the back, probably about four jets because we're still really fat. The air fuels are saying they're about 12.5 to 12.8, which is where we want to be. That's where we want to run. But looking at the plugs, it's showing we're still low on timing and we're still pretty fat. So that's our game plan for right now, guys. That's what we're going to do. We're going to run with it. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.